let me record to the cloud. Do this. I hope they. Oh yeah, they're gonna be able right. to hear me and everything, right? Who the folks? Yeah, let me turn my audio on. Good catch. I gotta make sure that audio. Oh my goodness, I am hella hella over on recording space. Zoom is like, uh, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? <laughs> Maybe you might have some old, some really old videos you already. Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, just delete. yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get rid of all these midnight run oh, yeah. zooms. I'm gonna do that. Uh, let me space, make sure bro. that the oh, it's hella 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 space. Let me pull <laughs> up all this. Pull that up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna record in chunks today until I clear off the space in Zoom. Um, but let me get this set up, get the audio. I'm gonna turn my music off. Share advanced computer audio. Share the sound. Share. All right. Yeah, you should be good now. They can hear you. And then it it say something so that I can see if it switches to you. Hey. All right, cool. Yeah, it switches to you when you're talking, so you got it. Let me turn my music down on the computer side, and then you go to Dow. I got a couple things I'm gonna be squaring up here, but I'm right here. All right, as long as it's recording me, that's all. Yeah, you're recording. Yeah. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Yeah. Alicia Dixon, Realtor with Remax United. Please leave a message after the tone and I'll respond as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, this is Christopher Dodd. I'm giving you a call about your property, 1134 Boxcar Way in Apex. I'm very, I'm interested, um, very interested. Give me a call back, please, at this number, 704-214-5519. Thank you. Okay, let me pan out. So anyway, guys, if you're listening, this is a sub two opportunity that I kind of want to take on. Um, I don't know, I want to give too much, too much, you know, things or whatever. I'm just want to do it and hopefully, you know, it just catches me getting one or or it uh I can really just look, look at it and critique myself and have, you know, you guys and, and um everybody really be able to, you know, uh critique me or have something to say if they um you know, know this or if they do this, you know, and they've actually been successful at it. That's really what I care about. And what I focus on. This is why I wanted to record. Yeah, that's really why I wanted to record, Paris.
Oh damn, I was talking, I was muted. My bad. <laughs> um, I was saying, I was saying, Chris, tell us a little bit more about the deal. You ain't gotta tell them about the uh, you know, the full details of the address or anything, but tell them like generally where it is and then what's the general characteristics of it, right? So that when people in the future, when they see this and they say, Hey, I found I know a deal in this city that is a type like this, and this is the problem they were facing. And Chris already solved that. Let me go find Chris. Tell the people a little bit about it. They may need to pay be paid and we'll that makes sense. Hello? Chris, yeah, can you hear me? You, yeah. I'm listening. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I was saying no, I was saying you tell them because I, I don't have the full details of the, the story of it, right? I was just giving you a chance to to talk to the people, you know, for the reporting. So oh. again, also you can use it. Just tell them a little bit about the deal, the problem that you 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 saw that you're you've identified, and then maybe even tell them a little bit about how you probably you're gonna try to get after it. Kind of work through the process there. Okay, and problem, you know, you talking about you said problem with the deal. Yeah, yeah. So like, you know, so why? What is where? Where is it? You know, General City, and then what? What's the issue in general? Because we kind of talked about the numbers, right? So this one is a numbers problem. Yeah, okay, so it's here in North Carolina, it's in Apex. Um it's about it's 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 it's, it's I wanted to be it's a sub two situation. I want it to be a sub two deal. That's what it is, right? And that's what I'm trying to get at. Why is it a sub man. why is it a sub two deal? It's a sub two deal. What does that mean? Okay, basically all right, so let's go to these numbers. So basically they want five hundred it's listed for five hundred and five thousand dollars with a realtor on oh and I just realized it's a VA loan. But um, it's listed for five hundred and five thousand with a realtor on the MLS, and um, their loan balance and what they have to pay left on their mortgage is four hundred and sixty one thousand, and not and and so they're asking for five hundred five. They have to pay realtor fees. They have to, and they they ask for five hundred five, and within that thing, within the money they get for it, they want to be able to pay off their mortgage and also pay their realtor. Or whatever. So it's interesting to us because we're 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 it's interesting to me and interesting to us because I'm here looking at it and they have very, very little equity, if any, uh after you make the calculations and the estimated value of the house is less than what they even have it listed for, and it actually depreciated since last year by like how much of uh, it was five like five twenty two. Yeah, okay, about five percent. Um, but it's like last that's like year. thirty or it's like thirty grand or something like that, right? It was it yeah. was five twenty something, and now it's like four ninety something. Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, four ninety five. Yeah, it's like four five twenty two, and then now it's four ninety five. So, yeah, so that's why we were pretty much interested in the deal. And so you're I saying see... you're saying it it went down in value from last year, and then. Yeah. Where it's listed, it just barely covers how much they owe. So they 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 don't have a lot of equity. It's a low equity deal that is losing value from last year, that has lost value from last year to this year. Um, as it is right now, there's a possibility that they don't walk away with anything. Or maybe exactly. they don't walk away with a little bit. Exactly. After yeah. paying all the costs and to the agent and things like that. And it might be exactly. costs that we can't see that might be in this deal. So it might too. be a better they opportunity might even for have to pay. Exactly. So that's why I need to figure yeah, out and get they the might have on to the pay phone pay. and get yeah. some answers. I mean, get some, yeah, and get some questions answered because from our calculations is looking like they're just about to, they're just about um, after, you know, taking away the stuff off the top for the agent and all the fees and stuff they have to pay, they were closing and stuff. Uh, it's at 3,600. So who knows if they even get to keep that, right? We don't even know they at a position to where they have to pay to be to have to sell the house. So who, you know, if if I can get those questions answered, it can make it. It's already looking like a solid, you know, uh, attack plan now. You know, deal now. But but after we figure that out, it'll 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 be hook line and sinker if we could, you know, sort that out. And everybody still doesn't accept in a situation that's like this, but it's more about us calling. It's more about, you know, me just trying to figure out, you know, it's more just, just about us doing it anyway, because you don't know unless you do it, you don't know unless you try. So it's going to happen, right? If it's a deal, 
good. If not, then just on to the next one. But yeah, overall, I just want to be critiqued because I don't have a sub two deal yet, and I never had one yet. So that's where that's where we, that's where we're at. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And she didn't answer, but she left a voicemail. Um. Yeah, I left the voicemail. Cool, cool, cool. I gotta get these videos off for no pay hours, man. They tripping. Yeah, it's like we. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure they're. It's kind of crazy that you know. I guess I missed it, right? I should have probably. I gotta make sure that I bring that up sooner in the conversation. But in general, yeah, they, they yeah. Don't call the bank when you because ask they're gonna me, say no. The bank would. Yeah, because when um when you ask me the question if the you bank that, have any problem with it, you know, yeah. on the, I really, okay. you know, I, I answer, I said, I don't think so. But then that's again, you know, that, you know, we're thinking. It's Tamara. So that's, yeah, that's, 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 Tamara. that's fair. Yeah, so when I, you, you when we were, I was looking at it from the perspective uh -oh. of or like a, a loan mod. 30821. Hello. Hey. How's it going? I'm good. I'm fine. How are you? Good. I'm good. I got your voicemail. Um, so, so tell me what I can help you with. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm just wondering uh, a little bit about what's going on um, with the situation and uh, the seller and everything. I've seen that it's been up there. It's been on and off the MLS uh, in total, at least around 57 days to ballpark. Um, what? Not not eleven thirty four bucks per way. Um, so it's it's been on the market. Uh, let's see, we put that on the market beginning of August. Mm -hmm. Um, so prior to that, the people who bought it bought it in twenty twenty one. Um, but they've been in it for almost two years. So I don't I don't know if you're that's what you're saying from the the day that was on market before that. Like, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was wondering, I was yeah, exactly. So yeah. yeah, so it's just um the the folks who bought it, I sold it to the folks who bought it originally. Um and so it, it was your house. Owner. They're the second owner. Um, so the first people bought it when it was brand new, and then my folks bought it um back in December of 2021. Kind of at the at the peak of the market, hmm. and um, so they're just they're just they're just trying to move to a single family, you know, detached home. That that's all. Based on okay, so they don't want so they don't they just don't want the house. They want to downsize. What is going to get them? Yeah, they bought it. They were renting. They've been renting, and they had four children in like a twelve hundred yeah, square foot right? rental. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so they just. You know, they just bought it basically because it was the right school that the kids were already in. And it was, you know, I don't know if you were in the market in 2021, but properties were going like in a day or sight unseen even all the time. And so they bought it kind of knowing that it wasn't going to be long term. So they just had to get out of that, um, you know, that tiny apartment they were in with all those kids. So, um, yeah, so they, they just, you know, have reached the point that, you know, one of the one of the kids has moved out. Um, he's graduated high school. They wanted to let him graduate his high school and then make the move while the three younger ones, you know, were were you know, when school wasn't as big of a, a thing for them. So um, so that's all that's going on. Yeah. Okay. So um, what happens? What happens if they if they if they don't sell? I mean, is what's 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 going on with that? In pre foreclosure. Ryan, say that again. I'm sorry. Um, what hap what happens if they don't sell? At the price that they want uh, it. If, if they don't sell, they'll stay there. I mean, they love the they love the location and everything. Um, they just you know, if they don't if they don't sell, they're fine to stay there. They they just want to see if they could sell and get a um, you know, get a detached home. Okay, what are they what are they looking to walk away with? Employers are in the area. Um, I mean, they're pretty. They're they're not looking to make any money, which at the price, you know, they're they're just looking to, you know, get out of there with what they've got in it. And um they, their price is pretty they're, they're they're pretty set on their price. Um they do want a little bit of time once it closes to do a lease pack with the buyer. You know, so that they've got a little bit of time to, to lease back. make their okay. move. Um 
So that's really the most important part of the contract for them. Okay. Uh, what's your commission on this one? I'm sorry, what's that? I say, what's your commission on this one? What's this looking like? Um. Well, let me ask you this first. Are you working with a buyer's agent already? No. No. Okay. Because I don't. Um. This was like if I, I can't work with you directly because I'm representing the seller, and so oh, I don't have do a full agency where I represent both sides. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. That's but but I issue. could give, you know I could give you, but I could definitely you know refer you to an agent in my office. Who could help you? I just don't. I just don't do dual agent think, um, just as a matter of practice. I just don't think it's fair to, to either, either yeah. side to do that. So, um, the seller, back to your question about commission, um, you know, standard practice is um, that the seller pays the commission for both the buyer's agent and the seller's agent. So, um, that they're prepared to do that. Okay. So they, you said they're prepared to pay buyers and sellers agent. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty that's much how it works. works. Um, yeah. Yeah. In the market. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything else they have to pay, like cleaning fees, you know, uh, for the house or other, you know, house related uh expenses? If so, like, what does yeah. that look like? The, you know, your the um your lender would have the, the closing fee that they require. Um, and, uh, you know, a buyer's agent could, could go through all that, kind of give you some idea. I, we always recommend an inspection. Um, you know, I, well, I would say I recommend that with any buyer, you know, that they get the property inspected. Um, if you didn't want to do that, that's, that's the buyer's choice. Um, you know, your, your agent could, your agent technically can ask for the inspection that we had done when the property was bought, you know, two years ago. And I feel like my sellers would be fine to release that. You know, it was a, it was a good, clean inspection. Um, and they've maintained the property very well. So, you know, and it, it's only five years old. Yeah. If that's right. For 20, so maybe six years old now. Um, but yeah, it's still a you know, relatively young house. So. Um, as far as other fees, the only other thing is that that is, of course, in an HOA, um, and I don't uh, I don't have that number sitting in front of me um, to remember exactly what that is. Um, I've got a couple I've got a couple other listings, and I can't recall what that one is. Um, I want to say is it on Twitter? No, no, I don't want to quote it because I'm not I don't remember exactly. <laughs> to tell you the truth. <laughs> but, but it does have a it does have a they pay it quarterly for um the villages of APEC. Yeah. They have a quarterly HOA. You are required to pay that. Um it does give you access to the pool and the clubhouse and there's a um there's a workout room inside the clubhouse that you're you know you can use. So some people like that when they get rid of their gym membership. Um, yeah. so it's, it's got some you know, it's got some benefits, plus it's just incredible location. Yeah. So, okay. You know, um, <laughs> you're, you're interested in seeing it. Are you in that area or you live somewhere else? I live somewhere else, but here in North Carolina, I'm around. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to have an agent from my office give you a call on stuff. There's certainly new stuff if you would like to you know, drive up and see it. That's totally up to you. Yeah. I've got a few more questions. Okay. Um, where, where do they plan on moving next? Have they talked about that? Where do they plan on moving? Yeah. Um, they want to stay right in that area. You know, they not necessarily in that neighborhood, but they definitely want to stay Apex, Cary, Holly Springs. You know, they they want to stay in that little area. Okay. Cool. And you said and you said basically they not they aren't really making anything off of this. They they're just trying to like, well, they break even, yeah. be able to pay you and stuff yeah. like that. All right. Exactly. All right, exactly. cool. Okay, so what? So what? So what? Would they? So what if I can do this? Um, what if I can get you your commission? Um, what if I can get you your commission, and then the uh, agent that'll be able to um, represent me as well, and I can get them their commission and. Um, and I could be able to take oh, and I can be able to take over their payments. 
and get put some money in their pocket to walk away with? Um, you know what? We've already had one offer like that, and they're really not interested in that because it it'll it'll solve every it'll solve everybody else's it'll solve everybody's problem. Yeah, they 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 want they just want a clean sale. You know, I mean that is they, that's a clean transaction though. If anything, it'll it'll actually take it'll actually be quicker than uh, another offer than than just you know anything else really. Yeah, I mean, if you you know if you want to send it to me written, I mean, of course I'll present it to them. Yeah. Um, I mean, um, them. okay, but uh, that that what 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 that does is that's a lot of underwriting, and that takes uh you know, precise numbers and stuff like that or whatever. Uh, Cause you know, I want to help them out as much as I can. I want to be able to give them something to walk away with. Um, I want to be able to pay you and I want to be able to pay uh, my agent. Um, so what I do, so so what, what we can do is you can go and you can offer this to them verbally and see if it's something that they'd be interested in. Because I, I understand, you know, and I'm looking at their uh, situation and and um yeah this i'm looking at this situation it'll probably be the best thing but i'm listening yeah and then that can I, help I, me I'm happy to present it do you do you want to give me a number or um well yeah well initially Okay, so initially I'll give you I'll give you a call. I mean, present it the way that I've you know I've said it, and I can give you you know like just give it to them verbally, you know like that like if that's something that interests them. And then what can happen is I'll give you a call back with my with my partner. Um, you know he'll get into all the other things. We can give you your number, possibly more, with this type of solution. Um and and yeah, I, I we, we, you call me back and we'll talk about it with him. Yeah. Um. All right. Just so just so I'm clear, you know this the this would be a, a sale that would close and title would change hands and yeah, they'd be off they'd be off the mortgage and off the deed and everything. No. Well. Well, they wouldn't be off the mortgage. The more the mortgage will stay in their name, but they'll be off of the deed. And what we'll do is we'll set up a loan loan servicing company. You know, uh, a servicing company that uh, handle the payments. They be made on time. You know, and uh, and yeah, and basically it'll be out of their hair. And yeah, pretty much simple like that. Yeah. But um, it, and but it makes more. Um, yeah, it, it just makes it makes more sense from a from an investor standpoint, right? You know, why would I take out existing? You know, what I mean, uh, new debt for an ex for existing debt. You know. That it doesn't make any sense um, in a situation like this. Yeah. Kind of yeah. dumb, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, for you, it makes great sense. For them, I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure because it ties them to a to a mortgage, so it kind of uh, yeah. I mean, so I, I'll present that to them, and uh, and you know, I can I can yeah. Back. But then, but then they'll, but then they'll they'll able they'll be able to walk away with something too. Right. And um, I don't know if it's a VA loan, conventional loan. Like, how, how is that working? Yeah, it's a VA loan. VA loan. OK. OK. So he, he'll be probably, you know, his entitlement and stuff like that to be involved. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and so so that's that's even that's could be even better for us because my partner, he's a uh, my partner. He's a realtor. The one I'll have you, you know, call back with. He's a realtor and he's a 13 year. Um, Marine vet, um, okay. yeah. So he 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 knows how everything like that work or whatever. I know if you go to another place, you have to put a down payment and stuff like that. We can even talk about you know being able to pay his down payment instead of give you know for the next place he wants to live, instead of um okay. you know uh give him something now to walk away with. So you know it's either way to be kind of it 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 can go you know both ways. So um. Yeah, definitely. I think that we'll we we'll definitely probably be your, like we'll be your best option. Probably for this, right? Yeah. What? Which? Do you mind me asking which group you work with? 
which group do, do I work with? Uh-huh. Like what's, your, what's the company? Like who, who would be the who would be the purchaser who would be on the deed? Oh well the wild the Wild House Inc. The Wild House Incorporation. Okay. Yeah, that's me and my buddies. Just like this, um, already from another group. So I'm curious if it was the same. Yeah. No. But it's not. No. Okay. <laughs> We're better. Okay. We're better. <laughs> All right. All right. Well listen, I will um I will give you a call or email and you should text back and let you know, okay? Okay, thank you so much. All right, bye, Alicia. <laughs> Did you hear everything, bro? I had to walk away. I heard, I heard one part, and then bro, I you came didn't back hear and that. Like you recovered. But no, I was, was recording, fucking though. exuberant. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Give me the room. Now. I heard you. I I think I left at uh. Where did I leave? Where did I leave? I think I left at. You were explaining how I don't even remember. I heard that she was like, she was like, oh, yeah, we've gotten offers like this. And then you started telling her a little bit more about the process and like, yeah, we can do these things. It's not an issue. You asked her, like, where are they moving after? And then you, the last thing I heard was like, yeah, they're not, they're not really getting anything out of this. You're just, they're looking to break even and get what they got. Okay, cool. Said, yeah. And then I had to walk away. She was like, yeah, yeah. So she, she made it up front and not getting anything. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, when she told it. you that, I was <laughs> like, oh, there it is. You know what I'm saying, but I wish you heard the rest of the conversation, but it's recorded. I'll so listen to the recording. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll you'll be able to listen to it. It was really cool, bro. And I'm gonna get it a call. I'll get it a call back. And I think that that'll probably be hook line sinker. I let her know, you know, and then I have her. I then I brought up the loan. I say, yeah. And then is it, you know, is it a conventional or is it VA? I'm looking at all the information. I know it. I, have I know. It. I know. Yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, <laughs> so um, she said it's a VA. Yes, yeah, a VA. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool. So I that has something to do with their entitlement and you know, and stuff like that and whatever. And she's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I'm like, okay, cool, because uh I actually have a I partner. That part. Yeah, I you know, that part. I was there for that part. Like, all right, cool. You know, I actually have a partner that's a 13 year Marine, you know, and he's a realtor too. And um, you know, he, he knows about all of those things. And then I then I just brought it up, you know, and I said, well then I yeah, and then I said, um, you know, if they have to, you know, if they have to move on to the, you know, to the next thing that has nothing yep. to do with their entitlement and stuff, you know, so um, what we can do, you know, is instead of putting them something down now, you oh, know, yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. you know, we can, we can, can even arrange to like pay their down payment. Yeah. Next, you know, so, and, and she's like, okay, yeah, like, like, you know what I'm saying? So, so like, okay, like this, this should sound pretty it solid. Pretty damn good. It does yeah. bro and i'm like yo like we'll definitely be like your, your best option i just and i made it clear you know i can pay your commission and and yep, and, you know, that and my buyer's commission and you know everything because then she wants to refer me to somebody to her office so yeah let's get you both paid um we'll pay both of you guys and we'll handle it we'll just take it out their hands and she was like so 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 one of the questions she did so she was like all right so and just to be clear She's definitely gonna go back to the seller about it trust me yeah so she she, like, she she will based on what she was saying she'll take it back <laughs> Yeah, but did she had a question. What was her question? Yeah, so her question was, okay, so um, with 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 doing all with doing that, you know, this is before I got into the VA and all that stuff. Kind of read backwards. Well, you know, I told it backwards, but uh, Good. she said, um, you know, so with this, you know, way with the mortgage and the and the deed and everything and all that stuff, like be out of name and stuff like that, and I was like, well. Well, the mortgage will be in their name. The mortgage mm -hmm. will stay in their name, um, but the deed and stuff will come over to us, you know. Uh, and 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 what we'll do, you know, we'll have, a, you know, what we we'll do is we'll have like, you know, we'll have a loan servicing company and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, take it over, a servicing company, you know, take it over and, um, you know, and make the payments, you know, each month and on time. Uh, and yeah, like I just think that's I just think that was really, really smooth. And I asked every single one of these questions. <laughs> asked every single one of these questions, bro. Every single. Are you one looking down, at? Are you looking at down. your? Are you looking at your script or are you using the other one? Okay, man, I'm looking at this bad boy, man. I'm looking at this right. script that I knew I had to create, and I'm like, okay, cool. I have a script. I have everything I want to ask. So that's cool. I really want you to look at the call because it, it 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 feel like it probably you know like whatever. 
I will I'll definitely I will listen to the that, I'll definitely listen to that. Um well because I'm gonna upload it tonight. In fact, what I might do is I might stop and upload it now. It'll be unlisted so we can go look at it. Um because I wanna I, I need to clear I gotta clear the space. In fact, I'm gonna stop it right now. Hold on, let me stop the let me stop the recording. I have to 